Listen, we've been going on a run of illustrious guests this season. Ooh, my God. Almost as illustrious as the run my man has had on the Yankees. That's right. You know who's in the building? El Capitan, the captain, number two for the Yankees, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. <laughs> Derek Jeter. <laughs> Derek, That's right. captain, my captain. Woo! I need this type of energy. Exactly. Right, listen, First of man. all, before we get started, I want to apologize if I'm clearing my throat or it sounds like I lost my voice. I underestimated how much time and energy it takes to negotiate with a four and a half year old and a three year old oh. on bedtime. Oh, bro. So I've been talking nonstop. You gotta you, you, listen. You gotta you gotta pick your battles. <clears throat> yeah. Also, yeah. there's this thing called melatonin. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Drug your kids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about that when the camera's <laughs> off, man. Come on now. So you're lucky you have a heart out because we could ask you questions for 40 hours. Like, listen, bro. we grew up watching you. You've given us some of the greatest moments we've seen as a Yankee. You had us in the old stadium rocking. Well, yeah. first of all, well, how old are you guys? Uh, I'm 25. I just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just... I've watched a lot of your stuff from YouTube. <laughs> so I just turned 39. I'm a spring chicken. Because, you, know? you know, when you're saying you grew up watching me, it makes me feel old. Well, I mean, hey, well, you know... You know. Well, we I'll grew be... up together. We grew we up, up together. together. Yeah, no, because you are young. You are a young cat. Yes. 96, rookie thank you, year. Thank you. Repeat first... that over and over. That first game don't where you were, like, <laughs> super skinny, and everyone was like, who is this who guy? Is this guy? <laughs> is he going to be any good? You were one of those guys yelling it, right? I I don't even think I had cable yet. No, no, no. I was just singing on the radio. <laughs> WPIX, whatever it was. A little 880. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. But some of, your fa some of my favorite plays were just like, when you ran into the seats and you came back bloody, what was like going through your head? You were just like, I'm catching this ball? You know, matter of fact, look, the play wasn't hard. It's a pop-up. Mm -hmm. But it's old Yankee Stadium. There wasn't a lot of room between third base and, and the stands. And a couple of years before, I fell in the photographer's pit during the postseason. You guys may remember that against mm -hmm. Oakland. So me, you know, be always being prepared, I figured I'm going to just jump over the photographer's pit and I'll land in someone's lap. Right. And I landed in the one seat where there was no fans. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, didn't, it didn't feel too good. But it really, making a play wasn't that hard. That was an amazing play, bro. Thank to you. To use a cliche, are you one of the guys that leaves it all on the field? Because, like, you've got hurt. Obviously, you've got hurt in your career mm -hmm. as a function of going balls to the wall. Like, yo, I'm, I'm stretching this double. I'm making this catch. I'm getting this hit. Like You have to. Look, your career is only so long, right? Mm -hmm. And you only have so many years. You know, I've said it before, the worst phrase in sports is get them next year. Right. It's 12 months. You know, that's a long time. So tell us about this documentary, because I heard you have two good-looking guys from the Bronx in it. That Wow. wow. Well, they're still editing it right now, so wow. Don't, wow. Don't, don't pat yourself wow. on the back okay. yet. Oh, oh, they're oh, still oh, going oh, through oh, the edit feel, process. Wow, it feels like 04 in here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. So much, I didn't deserve that. I didn't deserve that. So it was, it was an awesome experience to go through this process with the documentary, because I get a chance to reflect. And I've sat down and did... 30 plus hours of interviews. Right. I know you guys sit here and you talk all the time, right? But sit down and try to talk about yourself right. for 30 plus hours. It's difficult to do. And for there's a sure. lot of stories that you forget about. Mm -hmm. So it was a fun experience to go back and, and really reflect on my career. Now, you didn't play when social media was a thing. Didn't. My career would have been three years long. Exactly. <laughs> I was about to say. I had those phones, yeah. Bro, they had ESPN graphics of, like, the people that you've dated, all this crazy stuff going on. Rumors. Like, all rumors. Rumors. Now... Forget it. You got a TikTok, you got an Instagram, you got a tweet about it. You got to assume everything you do is public. There's like a drone shot of you fighting an uh, Uber driver, like, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> everything you do is public knowledge. Got you. Now, listen, as two Yankee fans, you interacted with our hero, George Steinbrenner. Yes. The what was he like? The boss. The boss. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best, man. I mean, he would challenge you. He'd push you. Yeah. He'd call you out publicly, you know, and he'd want to see if you'd stick up for yourself, because yeah. if he... If he felt as though he could get over on you, mm -hmm. or you were soft, you were done. Oh. So you'd have to stand up to him. There's times when, when I had to stand up to him, and, mm -hmm. and you know, he would he would pick on his best players yeah. just to see how you're going to respond. That's how New York is. Yeah. I don't care how good you are, man. People are going to talk about you. They're going to say how bad you are. They're going to get on you. They're going to boo you. They're going to challenge you. And you got to be able to respond. So he was big on that. Is it hard to play in New York? Because we always hear that's one of the reasons people don't want to be traded here or don't want to come oh, yeah, here. It's, yeah, it's very hard. It, yeah. New York, I mean, we played 19, you guys know, 1998, we got 125 games. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we went on a losing streak towards the end of the year. And you're walking down the street and people's like, what's wrong with you guys? Yeah. yeah it's a different beast. This, I, I always say, though, it's, like, it's kind of like a balance, though, because it's like, you play in New York, and yes, there's the pressure, there's the, you know, the expectations or whatever, but then on the other side of the coin... Nothing better if you win here. Uh -huh. If you win anything. Anything. Nothing. Like, nothing better. But 
you got to win. And that's what you play for. But if that's what you play for, you're not going to have any issues. If you're playing for yourself, you're going to have some problems. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. They, they, oh, yeah. No, and they you, see right through you. Yeah. yeah if you're you batting 500, 4 for 4 every night, but the team is yeah, yeah. 28 games yeah. of the 500. No, I want to hear it. Here's my question. Do you ever, I know you got to say that you're, you're ready for the ball, everything. You ever just daydream on the field? <laughs> like, yo, just like looking at the crowd, yo, looking at see, birds. Like, yo. Like, yo. It yeah, depends on what night it was afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> An honest answer. An honest answer. Oh. When you get to first base and you're talking to the guy, what are y'all talking about? For real? Depends it's on like, who it is. Yeah? Yeah, it depends on who it is. You know, some guys, you know, I, I knew about, you know, I was, my teammates used to get a kick out of this because I knew when all of them went out. Mm -hmm. And even the opposing players, I knew when they went out where they went to and what time they left. Oh, wow. So I wouldn't mess with a lot of them would be in awe. Oh, you was a 10 Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, oh, how was it? Oh, wow. You was a trying to call motherfucker? Oh, you getting their heads like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes it's that. Uh, sometimes it's how your family. Mm -hmm. It depends on who the person is. Yeah. <laughs> is there any team, like, I'm, I'm, listen, and I know you don't want to defame people, but right. there's, there's teams that you get up for, and there's teams that you're like, eh. Does that affect how hard you go? Because I know you go hard <laughs> every night, but those games, it's the atmosphere. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The better teams you play in a particular year, the fans come up and the, fa the fans come out and they're electric. Yeah. That's what makes playing Boston special. Mm -hmm. You go to Fenway Park, it doesn't really make a difference. It's always you're playing Boston, Boston and the yeah. fans get into it, man. So they make the atmosphere fun for the players. Yeah, I went to a Boston, uh, Boston Yankees game and I had on a CC Sabathia jersey and an old white man tried to fight me. <laughs> how, did, how did it end up? You know what? I was like, if I hit him, I'm going to go to jail. Yeah, so yeah. I just walked away. I might slap this little kid. You might have an idea. He was like, you're wearing that? That's disgusting. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, that's a little racist, first of all, but neither here nor there. Yo, also, Yankee fans, we're the best and we're also the worst. Yo, my man Chris went to a <clears throat> Mets Phillies game with your jersey on and was just like, yeah, you guys all suck. Everybody, you guys, the Mets <laughs> suck, the Phillies suck, Yankees only, baby. This Praise heaven, Reds, bro. Praise, Praise heaven, Reds. But really, truly. When you came in the game, it's it's hard because there's no name on the back of the jersey. Mm -hmm. There's no facial hair. Yeah. There's very little ways for you to like kind of personalize yourself as a Yankee. But for me, as a kid, I was just like, man, this dude has such... He's emanating swag. Yeah, you got swag before swag was a thing. Thank you, yeah, thank you me. invented thank swag. How did tell, you do tell, that tell on Tell all Yankees? your friends that. So we were that told, listen, share I do that. that. I do that. I'd be like, yo, Derek Jeter has swag. And the girl <laughs> I'm talking to was like, yeah, my father used to watch him. I'm like... <laughs> Why are you laughing at that back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Al. Damn. Come on, Al. Like, <laughs> are you laughing on, like you, had, you was a Brooklyn yeah. Dodgers fan? <laughs> oh, man. I think, you know, you know what the thing, I'm going to tell you what the thing is, is um, what's, what's the, uh, the movie where Jim Carrey grew up on television? The show. The show. The show. Yeah. That's how I feel like my life was, mm. right? Because I grew up, I was 20 years old when I came to New York. Yeah. And I said before, Yankee fans watch every single day they do not miss a game a so we all grew up together i remember when i was retiring and they had my day at the stadium and i said you know i'm getting old and, and i said well so are all of you yeah i've seen everybody else grow up too mm -hmm. you guys are old too you got a little makeup on makes it look good oh for no TV, we old. But no, no, no Derek, we're old as shit yeah. <laughs> i watch Derek, I'm, I'm in pain right now sitting in this chair okay, okay? <laughs> I, if i uncross my leg you will hear my name <laughs> every time <laughs> i see red side yank i was like six hours no oh, sir oh, no sir this melatonin is kicking <laughs> in <laughs> yeah. time for the chamomile tea <laughs> God, watching Yankee and with Icy Hot on my knees, like, ooh. <laughs> but yo, ooh. but you, really and truly, you bought, like, a, a certain swagger to your game and, like, the way you played and the Team Jordan affiliation. Mm -hmm. That was, you know what I mean? Like, before that, it was just like, oh, Ken Griffey is the swaggiest player in the game. I'm like, nah, right. it's Derek P. Well, I don't think, you know what, I, I get asked the question by a lot of people, a lot of young players coming up, how do I grow my, or grow or build my brand? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you talking about? Win. Yeah. That's how you do it. You know, we came up, we won my first year. We won four out of five years. So every time, even if you're not a baseball fan, you turn on the TV in October, you see us. You see us. So if you win, I, I, it wasn't like I tried to force something. It's just we just happened to have good teams throughout the years. And we are in the postseason most of my career. And I, I think if you try to force it, that's when you have issues. You still keep in touch with those guys? Like, get around, like, yo, let's play back, you know what I'm saying? Let's you got group chat horse. with, like, Mariano and all them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, they older than me, so. Yeah, <laughs> they're group chat, they're on WhatsApp? No, they're yeah. texting with T9? Yeah, yeah, no, they are older than me. So. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have any games that stand out more than other games? When we lose. Which one? There's, like, any, like. Boston. Boston, 04? 
Boston, Arizona. Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. yeah. We should, you know what? I'm going to go on record. We should have won that because of 9 11. They should have just, let, they should have been like, yo, that was a foul. That's how we <laughs> felt. That's how, <laughs> that's that's how we <laughs> felt. We're destined, that's man. A, like, how, that, how do you know? That's a movie. That, Listen, and you're like, yeah. what was that? Yo, Luis Gonzalez, you could have been a hero for a different reason. Exactly. <laughs> man, come on, man. Oh, City had on. <laughs> Well, yeah, that one hurt. I'm get tired again, dog. Like Mets and Yankees fans were like holding like bandanas together, like calling a truce. Like, yes. oh, we, yeah. We all had our NYPD and FDNY hats. <laughs> the truce ended right after that. Exactly. exactly. Right after that. So we want to get into your dating history. Actually, no, we ran out of time. Yo, this has been a fun interview. Give it up for my God, Yo, our captain. Uh, God. Our, the most illustrious uh, guest we've had on the Derek uh, Jeter. Uh, Derek Jeter. <laughs> Before we go. Nothing but illustrious guests. Every illustrious guest gets a neon sign. What would you like your neon sign to say? I'd say what's appropriate now, considering the documentary's coming out, is the captain. Captain. <sighs> Enjoy the documentary. Derek Jeter in the building. Woo! Yes, sir. Yo, welcome to the official Jesus and Mero YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to see some dope content that you can only get here. Mm -hmm. Sit back, you know what I'm saying? Watch a video or two or three or five, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do. You can take your pants on or off.